the ludicrous. And I want to exit with this beautiful portrait of my boy. Moving aside from that, uh -huh. I text y'all a couple days ago. I asked y'all to give me a starting lineup and a sixth man of y'all favorite players currently. Right. We're not trying to build the best teams for the viewers. It's not like all oh, my team is going to beat his or better than that. Mm -hmm. I don't care if all your people come off the bench. Mm -hmm. I don't care who they are. I just want to know. I'm just curious to know y'all favorites. But that's going to lead me to say my point guard is Aaron Fox. Go through the rest of my list. Yes, Shooter guard, Victor Oladipo. Okay. Um, Two-way player. Damn, for real? Clutch. I feel like I have four. Paul George. Power four is Spicy P. Pascal Siakam. That's a good one. That spin move. Everybody knows it's coming, but guess what? You can't guard it, baby. And that guy runs the floor like no other. And center, I got Steven Adams. I go. I got uh, Uncle Drew at number one. Mm -hmm. I love his uh, shot creating ability. CJ McCollum, he's too smooth. Score from anywhere. He dropped 40 on Memphis, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> A very, very good defensive team dropped 40. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, um, I love his ability to dominate on both ends. Mm -hmm. Got L.A., uh, Jesus, yeah, he, he you love some old, you love some LA, bro. You love some LA. He, LA. Like, he just not really athletic, and he just he still dominates the game. Then MB dominates is a strong word. Yeah, it's a very, I was gonna say At the same, but I was gonna let you slide with At it. But, times he dominates. Okay, okay. still very strong. twice a year. All right, six men. I got Cools. Okay, That's with uh, Patty Mills. Wait, 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 wait. That's wait, wait. such a weird pick. Yeah. No, I not Patty Mills didn't even cross my damn mind. Wait, you know how, who you got? Patty Mills and Kuzma. Oh. You know how you a low key Lakers fan? Mm -hmm. He a low key Spurs fan. Definitely, yeah. Because ain't nobody in here. He's just named like four people that yeah. played for the Spurs. Was about to say. Point guard, we got Kemba Walker. Okay. It was between him and Kyrie, but I got Kemba. Be he be motivated. So far, we he haven't had. So far, nobody's motivated. had the same players. No, I literally just gave my favorite players. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't try to be like, oh, I know Mike is gonna have this. No, nah, I just went with my favorite player. Shooting guard, I had Bradley Beal. Hmm. I was thinking about putting Bradley Bill. You okay, know, real deal, Bradley Bill. Like, CJ, yeah, he's a, he's had a couple monster games these past couple games. So I think he deserved it. I wanted him to be a Laker. Small forward. And I was like uh, Kelly Oubre. I, I don't know why, but I really like Kelly Oubre. Man. That's because like you saw him live. That's because you saw him live. <laughs> Oubre. That's a, the, I like Kelly Oubre, but yeah. him being your favorite. Like that's such forward. a six man put, type. Pick. I didn't want to put LeBron James, but I was thinking around the league like it's not many small forwards that just. Well, I mean, Paul George is up there. I don't want Gordon Hayward. He's not one of my forwards. Kevin Durant. <laughs> I don't know, put KD. You don't like KD? Unless he's in a Lakers uniform, though. Or OKC. Yeah, I don't like him in a Warriors uniform. Hey, how exciting he is. I respect his game. And Jimmy Butler. That is true. <laughs> he listed he as a shooting guard, though. Uh, Power I got Tobias Harris. Okay, that's okay. a good pick. That's a good pick. I like that. As Who your was center? Your center, you your center? I had, I had two. I, I had you had, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, you breaking rules I, now. Derek did the same thing. One. Derek had two, six, three, yeah, six, man. Two, six, man. I didn't know which one. Patty you know Mills, Dwayne, what's the play? Who's your center? Oh. Did you say? The center I had was, uh, what's his name? Jerry <laughs> Allen, Jerry <laughs> Allen, Jerry Allen. Oh. That's Jared, a weird. Your whole team no, no, is just no, weird picks. I Allen, because anytime I've I watch never him heard play, you speak on this man. Anytime I watch him play, he's always trying to throw somebody stuff in the stands. <laughs> trying to post or something. You're right. Yeah, that's what he, that's does. All he does. Can y'all predict my list? Sure. Um, they, Devin wait, Booker's going to be at the two. Wait, 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 wait. How many people are light skinned in your lineup? All of them. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> he's already three people. Yeah, okay, wow. point guard. Who y'all think my point guard? is? I'm not saying I already saw it. Ben Simmons. Who's my shooting guard? Devin Booker. Nope. Light skin shooting guards, light skin shooting guards. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who you Dude, shooting guard When I say it, y'all gonna be like, oh my god. What conference? Yeah, I don't know how y'all don't know. The East. Either. Shooting guard from the Eastern Conference that Pierre always talks about. Kentra, are you are you are you dead ass? Right? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm looking one through fourteen. I didn't even think about the Bulls. <laughs> Zach Levine, okay. Small Ford. He's been named already. Kelly Uber. Oh, Paul George. Paul George. Power Ford. Giannis. <laughs> Nah, he was close. But I watched this dude more than I watched Giannis. Conference? Griffin. Play Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. Center? Light skin center. Rudy Gobert. Wow. He, he light skin in a different form. <laughs> Nikola Jokic. <Yes. laughs> six man. He's, he's not a six man, but he's my six man. He got a little rap album out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the R and B album. Yeah, no, <laughs> Alonzo Ball. Yes. Okay. There we go. Ben Simmons, Zach Levine, Paul George, Blake Griffin, Nikola Jokic, Alonzo Ball. So five out of your, four of your six players are light skin. Noted. it. No. Yeah. Five. I mean, Nikola Jokic is technically light skin. He technically is light skinned. Yeah. Um, I don't think he can ever be. And at this point, 
because we still haven't really seen it. But I, I don't think he's gonna be that dude that takes you over the top. Like we can win a championship she, with this guy. She. It really depends on the team. Because if the Warriors got him, they man. doing that he, right now with the Seventy Sixers. <laughs> Why you think they all going back on what they saying? Because there's nothing out there that they can trade that's going to replace that void. Because without him, they ain't on shit. <laughs> Doc Rivers ain't going on t- TV you, to you say. You're right. You right. But they still got Joel and B that they can lean on. That's a championship motherfucker, though. No, well, he's they, not. They, they didn't he's even not. make it to the conference. He's finals. not. Without I'm Ben Simmons. <laughs> to, to win a championship? Without Ben starting, Simmons. T- definitely take a Joel Embiid Without Ben Simmons, one. they got swept by the Celtics. Why he do this? Now he's telling us nobody's saying it would take Ben right. over Joel, but Ben Simmons can put you over the top. He's at, at his worst. He's still an all NBA. I mean, he's still an all defensive all star player in the league at yeah. his worst. No doubt. So what are we talking about? I think that team That's without fun. Ben Just Simmons, without Ben Just Simmons, and like I said, lesser point. Say they have Malcolm Brogdon or some even a little bit less than that. I'm trying to think of a name. Malcolm Brogdon is perfect. Right. I think they're a championship team. You do? Yes. Hmm. I'm a person. I'm a person who likes that trade. Yeah, but I ain't saying that them motherfuckers is a championship guys. No. I still think they behind Philly. I mean, behind Brooklyn, behind Milwaukee, probably behind Miami. You haven't seen them play them probably, and damn near behind the Hawks because they just lost to the Hawks with Ben Simmons. We not gonna go why they just lost. Obviously, <laughs> it was a, bunch, a bunch of reasons why they lost, but the and, main and, reason was and, Ben Simmons. And, and a, uh, out of them bunch of the reasons, mm-hmm. you're gonna have. Ben Simmons in the mix, but you're going to have some of the other players. You can't look me in my face and tell me 100% reason why the motherfuckers lost was because of Ben Simmons. They had a damn good chance to win okay. those games. <laughs> if he would have played a little bit better. But like I said, but that, I, that, that, that but be even the problem. Then, when people have a point, they're going to overly do it. That's the Ben Simmons clause. You overly make try to make your point and go out to say, that's not factual. That's not factual. Without Ben Simmons, they not even in that fucking position. That's a fact. Yep. Bro, they if Ben won- Simmons had twisted his ankle right before the playoffs came and couldn't play, them motherfuckers are not even there, Mike. Me and you picked the motherfuckers without him to beat the Celtics, and they didn't even win a Bro, game. Not one damn. game. They might you know win who that also series. wasn't on shit? Tobias Harris. He was on his ass. You know who <laughs> also had a game in that the Hawks series? Tobias Harris. <laughs> so, yes, Ben Simmons is a part of the problem. Nobody who defends Ben Simmons is saying that he's exempt and he's this motherfucking new LeBron and you can't say shit about him. No. Ben, you need to shoot. You need to be more aggressive. You can't be missing 10 free throws. Yeah, hell yeah, that's bogus as hell. But the, the narrative that, that that ain't why Tobias Harris went 2 of 11. Mm-hmm. Ben no, Simmons no. ain't the reason why Joel and B had zero field goals with four free throws in the second half of a game as an MVP candidate against Clint Capella. Four for 20, 20% from the field as a big, uh, the most dominant big in a paint in our game right now. I think both of y'all are right, though. What are y'all, both the, what are y'all are saying are right, but I think both of y'all are taking it to the extreme on both sides. What when extreme the, am I taking? Because the, the 76ers he, he, aren't where they at without Ben Simmons. He, I don't think he denied that fact. I think he was just saying if Ben Simmons plays better in that series, that seven-game series is over. If Ben Simmons say, plays a little better, he didn't. He never, at least as far as when I started listening, he didn't say that the series was lost solely because of Ben Simmons. He, he, I, I argued that, and he said, "Shit, it damn near is." He literally said that. I said he was the main reason. I said there's a lot of reasons that went down, but he was the main reason. Right. Tobias Harris had a game that was bad. It was one game. Looking back on the series, Joel had a performance that was bad. It was one game. But looking I'm, back but on I'm the series. The question. You know how many games they were waiting for my advancing? One game. But <laughs> but Ben Simmons had six games. He, you think he had six that games? He, well, if he can't score in the fucking second half in the fourth quarter, that's something. They won when you're on the court ga- with they won, 10. They won games that same way, though. For they sure. They blew a lot for of sure. leads. They were up a lot in a lot of those games. For sure. Too. They won games that same exact way. They sure did. <laughs> that's not a recipe to win those damn games. If you're talking about a team that they should have beat, and they're going to play better teams. You can't have your second best player just going basically almost scoreless in the second half. But what if you won games like that? That means you're you're. That a, don't, but that's still. That's, I, that, obviously, you, you can, y'all. Yeah, obviously, y'all. No, no, no. Y'all, but I'm answering your question. I, you, but you you don't understand. Mike. You can't understand. Okay, I'm listening. So if you can win games that way, mm-hmm. right? Say sure, you, you want him to be more aggressive. But if you did win games with a nigga only scoring four points, if he's giving me those four points, but, wait, wait, no, no. I want, I want, I want to finish hearing season. your question. That's it. if you if a nigga can win a game with four points, that means you're extremely better than that team. He ain't ha- he didn't average four points. I'm just giving y'all that because I saw they won game two, and I think if I'm not mistaken, he only had four points 
only four points and they beat the hell out of them. So if you are that good, you can you can beat their ass. And he had games where he didn't even score four points and they whooped their ass. What is your question? So what's the problem? That that's not enough. If you can still how if you if it's if you got to win a win a series you can you can get by as an organization as a team of one of your players having off games that's where you have Seth Curry coming in and dropping thirty but you want your star players to do more than that obvious that but that's obvious you right. don't have to say that that's so I'm, I'm still who, confused who do, you, does it, do you understand what this question is I think the the main I question think, was is if Ben Simmons puts you over the hump no that's the main question but I I'm saying on good ass teams mm-hmm. as good as Philly. There's plenty of those type of teams because last year, in my mind, they were a championship contender. For sure. Where you can yeah. have one of your key players, maybe not have his best series and still win the series over a team that you're de- – because on paper, and when we looked at it, they were way better than the Hawks. Mm-hmm. Come on, people. Especially Come on. With, especially we have Hunter seen teams As that – I'm going to give the credit – I'm going to give the Hawks credit too because we were looking at the Hawks. So, oh, they're a good We team. were. But the Hawks turned out a lot better they than, were. We, than they we were. thought they, they were. They were. That's a fact. That's a, that's a fact. And anybody trying to yeah, – that's a fact. Only people that was picking them like that was probably Hawk fans. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. We've seen play, teams, really good teams, how we thought Philly was, mm-hmm. have a player that may not have their best series, but because they were substantially better than the opponent they were playing against, they got by. That's all. Because the, th- the theory is that, that – the reality, I mean, not the theory, is that Ben Simmons wasn't going to come in and average a dub. He averaged 14. He was never finna come in and shoot eighty percent, y'all. He, that he's been, that was been the whole year. He has spurts where he gave Go- but, Rudy the game or whatever. But even even then, I don't think people the expectation for Ben Simmons for that series for me was not for him to come in and average twenty. It was for him to be the best version of himself or even close to it. Right. If he's the average version of himself, they win that series in seven for sure. But he wasn't that for sure. That's the point for sure. I can agree with that. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> It's interesting though. If y'all Jalen Brown, do y'all really feel slighted though, or do uh, you understand that you're getting a, it's a top two player in the league, and of course I'm included. I in think this it's deal. a little bit of both. If I'm Jalen, number one, I'm a little bit slighted mostly because we got to the playoffs and I was the best player on the court that for is, us, a couple, like a majority say, yeah. of the time, and y'all like yeah. But then again, we have to realize wait, this is huh? fucking Kevin. Jalen Brown was the best player Brown in, the, in, the the in the finals for the finals. In the finals, he was better than Jason Tatum. What? Yeah. Yeah, in the but finals. Based off box score numbers? Based oh, on like yeah. no, just overall yeah, watching overall the way. game, he was the better of the two. I don't in the know. finals? I don't know. I would J- say Jalen Brown was better. In I the think finals. he was better in the finals. I'm not saying I'm J- taking him what overall. Jason Ta- what Jason Tatum does for the Celtics as far as the offense, uh, the whole The load shit, is a lot harder yes. on for sure. The entire Warriors scheme but I, w- is to not let Jason Tatum do what Jason Tatum did in the previous series versus Jalen Brown. For sure. I think that the role that Jalen Brown played, he played it to a higher level than the role that Jason Tatum is playing. Okay. You, that's yeah, that's that, what I mean by that. that. Because I, um, I'm, look, I'm looking at everything. And J, Jalen Brown had the explosive second half in the game one. But he didn't play at that level throughout the whole thing. I, there was pr- plenty of moments where I was like, "What the fuck is Jalen?" For Brown? sure, where is I, he but at? I think we had more of those moments for Tatum. But like you said, the, the load yeah. is a lot hard on Tatum. But I think that overall, my man's is running point guard for them. It, I think overall, when I'm looking at the Boston Celtics in that final series, I think that Jalen Brown performed better than anybody else in the roster. Okay. My Nick. team, my bold prediction. Oh, okay, it's yeah, I've been waiting for it. But I want to ask y'all this: mm-hmm. If Devin Booker, oh no, <laughs> uh-huh. okay, I'm, I'm gonna hear you out. Go ahead. <laughs> if Devin Booker, who had twenty five, five and four last year, mm-hmm. if he pushes those numbers up. <laughs> How much more? Twenty-eight. You think that? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Let me. Let me. Uh, Twenty-eight, mm-hmm. six, and four or five, and the <laughs> the Suns sneak into the playoffs. Could he win the MVP? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. There's no Do we way, have to pause the that, show? Are you good? No Devin, but there's no way Devin Booker can win MVP. I, I mean, in a conversation. So. I don't. I don't. Think so. I don't think so. If he put the. the I mean, if, in the if he put him in the playoffs and he averaged thirty, yes. No, 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 I thirty. Twenty-eight. Okay, twenty-eight. But I mean, yeah, you're right, kind of thirty, but. I feel like he got another level to go to, and I feel like you add DeAndre. Yeah, yeah. I definitely with the scoring department, definitely. Here's the thing about that. 
They, Listen, they won't I, make the playoffs. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a big stretch. They go from the worst team in the league to a playoffs in one year. I don't know. I don't know if like the West is just way too good for them to make that. That's what I'm saying. The West is way too good. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a stretch. But even teams like Minnesota may end up being in playoff contention this year. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm Minnesota, Memphis, Memphis. No, Memphis. Memphis will be. Yeah. And even uh, the, the you know, they have every team in the East can be a playoff team next year. West. It's West, except but for the Kings. What Sorry, we also Kings. have to realize is that it's always a team, whether it's injury or lack of performance, that drops. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If Lamarcus Aldridge, you know, tear something, the Spurs. It's gonna be tough. And I, we, yeah, we don't want. I'm not saying he will. I'm just mentioning the first name that come to my mind. Like, it happens it, every year. Though, yeah, so we can do it. To, to yeah, we can do this to any team. We can take any team and say if some because somebody's going to get hurt. There's never been a season where nobody significant got hurt, mm-hmm. which is unfortunate. And we and know. it doesn't even have to be like the whole season. Yeah, some t- like like with Paul Millsap, he had to miss a uh, part of the season and it, it hurt his team. Fifteen to twenty games the record, is a big. Yeah. You know, it's a big deal. That could drop him out of the playoffs. Another problem with this is that Devin Booker is is a great scorer, right? But now, I think he has more scoring around him. You know, like last year, it was just it was literally a Devin Booker show every night. But now with DeAndre Ayton and even Trevor Reza taking more shots, I don't think his number go up to twenty eight because now he has people to pass it to more. You know what but I mean? I feel like the, the having the more scores is going to open up the game for him yep. more. Especially when it, you uh, yeah, it's gonna go hand in hand because he's a good playmaker too. I think underrated. Playmaker I think you're. I still think you're crazy so, though. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. Um, he has a lot of games where he has almost ten assists. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. He does. He's yeah. at, I don't but know. I'm expecting him to make that jump because he ain't really had this type of, t- especially like a center like DeAndre Aiden. He's been playing with like Lynn. Dragon Bender, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson Chandler. Tyson, Tyson Chandler is gonna be good for them off the bench. Yeah. His veteran leadership with with Ariza is gonna be good. Now I'm not saying they will be a playoff team, but I'm saying they could be a team that gets better. Kind of yeah. like the Lakers. The Lakers didn't make the playoffs last year, but they were a better team than they were the year yeah. before. Yeah, they were missing that go-to guy. Could they make that jump? Yeah, I'm. That's way more realistic. But I think they could be a little bit ahead of those Lakers. Prediction? Question? Ben Simmons is MVP candidate. That's bold. I was thinking about this because you said this a few episodes I'm ago. I continue to say it a lot. I had Giannis, Jokic, drum roll, please. <laughs> What's that light skinned boy name? Devin Booker. Hell no. You thought it was. I thought all y'all going to think it was him. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, ben Simmons baby. It, it, I mean, the dude is just incredible. I mean, he's, he's just he's a future Hall of Fame point guard. You he know gonna, what I'm saying? He's going to get that around. Huh? That's PPG. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. You're gonna jump from what, oh, yeah, 15? 16. 16, okay. So, yeah, I mean, if 18, 19, 20, that's around 20, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? He's not the best player on his team. <clears throat> I agree with you. He's not. We agree as a I, podcast. I, I, Look I at agree. the top 50 list. <laughs> Maybe this is the year he overtakes the reins. Yeah, that's uh, that's bold. Because the bees. <laughs> <it's a mark. laughs> I mean, I, who is, okay, who, who is better on the Lakers team? Shaq or Kobe? Probably Shaq. Shaq. Yeah, Shaq. Right. But Kobe was he still had the numbers to be an MVP. So but, you, but he only got it. He got it without him. You know right. I'm saying? Because. But I'm just saying, he. he nah. It's an argument. <laughs> like you said, he had the numbers to do it, but he never did it, even though Shaq did, because Shaq was the better player in the. In, Shaq was just the bigger name. Also, the better player. At that time, he was the better player than Kobe. Let's I mean, be real. He was, but kind of. About this much. <laughs> this Because we're talking about, what, 19, 20, 21, 22 year old Kobe or something like that? Mm-hmm. Right. So Shaq was the better player at that point. But I feel like he was good because of Kobe. I mean, I don't they, think that's you true. can say that, but I, I feel they like play they, off they each other they for sure. Nec- I, don't, I feel like they don't necessarily co- coordinate. Because Shaq would have still dominated. Shaq was dominating before yeah. Kobe. Shaq yeah. and Kobe dominated without him. Yeah. They're both very dominant players well, in history. After they went, these ways, no, Shaq had won a championship. And he was also like 30 at that point, you know, yeah. old. So, I mean, both, both players are amazing. Both players did their thing in their own right, but like, that's bold would have been the whole Ben yeah. Simmons thing. I'm very, Simmons. very bold. I like it. I, he got the he got the staff for it, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling the you. reason why I'm just saying no to this is because do, can he have a 25 PPG type season? That's but the way he plays, does he need it? Yes. I don't think so. because Russell Westbrook needed 30, 10, and 10. That's James Harden needed 38 and eight. Look at his team though. 
Russell team was a six seed. Right. So he needed skyrocket numbers. <laughs> well, okay, James Harden was the one seed. He didn't need skyrocket numbers. But he, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't need them. What about the, who won you before that? That was Steph Curry. James Harden, James Harden win MVP because he averaged thirty. Right. He averaged every uh, best player on the best team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the Sixers are gonna be good, and Ben Simmons gonna put up numbers, crazy numbers, and it ain't gonna be just points. He gonna have his shit spread out, and if he continue to play the defense that we seen him doing, look, look, uh, Doncic, shit, they gonna be straight. He's gonna be. He's gonna have a good year. I don't think he have an MVP type. 21, year. 22 points. There's just so many players above him. I want to see. Just, yeah. When's the last time somebody averaged twenty one and won an MVP? Like it, I don't think this ever happened. Mm-hmm. He's well, like, Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Oh yeah, he averaged less than twenty. Right, he like, averaged less than that. Um, but that was fifteen years ago. Then we talking what eight or nine assists, maybe ten assists. He averaged eight last year. I'm sorry, but that's not even really that impressive when we talk an MVP anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anytime you average ten assists, it, no, it's it, impressive. It, but like for MVP, if you say you average ten, you'd be like, okay, like that's okay. But what else did he do? No. Nah. It's still impressive. No, no. I, it, it was a bold just, prediction. I, it is a bold I prediction, but like, it's, 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 I can't see yeah. Ben Simmons doing it. Just because one thing is, like you said, the points per game. I don't know if he can get over twenty a game. You don't know if he can score twenty points a night. Mm, mm, I don't know. I would say his max at this point is probably like twenty two ish. I think he can average twenty two. Now that's different than saying he can't average twenty. That's a bold ass prediction. Didn't he average eighteen last year? Nah, I think he averaged Six, like 16. sixteen. 16, 8, and 8. 21, we have Ben Simmons. Oh, sheesh. Yeah. You had him very, very I had high. Him high. Where he needed to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? Well, where know. do y'all have him? I'll, tell, I'll wait to say where mm-hmm. I had him when y'all say y'all. I, I, I think I had him around 22 to 25 range. Yeah, I think I had him around there, too. I had him 15th. Ben Simmons is a very good player, but he has the tools to be like if a great, you, if, great if player. But I think he he just hasn't if reached Draymond that potential has yet. Fifteenth on somebody else's list. Me having Ben Simmons fifteenth on the list. Both are high wild. as hell. <laughs> um, he has tools, but yeah. we want we want That's him to. Well, he's got to just learn him. how to utilize utilize it. Right. You know, this is a guy with a, the six ten frame that can naturally just rebound the ball, push the tempo, find open man. Like he has so much, but I think he just has to unlock it, and we have to see it. Yep. And all that, all that kind of comes with like him being able to hit like a fifteen footer. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm-hmm. But the and even I, that, I mean, he's averaging very good. That's you know, he's almost, almost, well, almost a twenty that's point score. score. What that's I love about is, he could be great is though. Even without the shit that everybody nags about, he's still damn near giving you a triple double. Yeah, he's still an all star B player. He still plays a big role on a very good team. Mm-hmm. So you, the shit that everybody says he lacks, if he adds, if we're looking at a player that's generational. Right. Even if he doesn't add a jump shot, I need him to add overall aggression. Mm-hmm. I can't have him go two quarters where he doesn't Attempt do Ben Simmons shot. things. Yeah, I don't know. We saw that in the playoffs where, like, when the pace slows down, he he kind of just sits around. Right? And also, and it depends on the matchup. Aggressive. It depends this is on the matchup. He needs to him find too. himself in that. We've playoffs. also seen him take over shit where, and come out and have monster games when, like, Joel Embiid ain't playing. We've mm-hmm. seen him like say, okay, he ain't playing. I got to turn my right. shit to another level and come out and dog from the start. Exactly. That's why that, I, yeah, I need to we see want that. Knob. I want yeah, to see that. that knob. Yeah, we want that knob all the time. And be being there. So right. So I, you, I'm just trying to correlate those two. I'm, right. I'm not saying so you're saying a problem that, together, but yeah. it's it's different when he comes on the store court and knows I don't. Have, I, here's a guy that not that's that's 20 shots is not open for me. Because he's not here. Mm-hmm. That's like the more the ball in my hand because he's not in there posting up, holding the ball. That's just more of me. And, yeah, they, I agree with y'all, though, because if Joel Embiid is going to be there, which they're going to play together, right. he, he has to have be able to have that mindset with him being out there. So I agree with y'all on that point. I'm very, yeah. I'm very interested, right? Um, I wish I could just Google, like, what's Ben Simmons' average when he's not playing alongside? Because mm-hmm. I think that's a very no, I think, interesting... Yeah, I, I think that's about, a good point that, that P that. made, though, because naturally when you are a playmaker, you're going to try to get everybody going. 18, 13, but Besides yourself. It, it's very rarely, because he, I mean... I'm not trying to put nothing really into perspective. Even Pierre does that. Like naturally, he's just a playmaker, so he's gonna look for the open guys. But maybe he should have just took a shot. I think you know, as a playmaker in this league now, where point guards need to be aggressive, you really got to find that balance to become yeah, effective. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's a, a tribute. I mean, an attribute that we, as media and as fans, this need is the to, big game. 23, 15, and ten. Fifteen assists and ten. Oh man, they, crazy, mm-hmm. crazy, crazy. But you want to know what's crazy? His plus minus was minus twelve. With that stat line? With that stat line. And they won? And they lost. They mm-hmm. lost by two. 
That's insane. Oh, I'm talking about the playoffs. He had a game, a crazy game in the playoffs where he had like 30 something. Wasn't it after like he didn't do nothing like the first yeah. game? And yeah, then it, he was that, it was that first game in Philly. He got booed off the floor, him and J.J. Reddick. And then the second game, he's like, okay, I'm going to come out here and play aggressive. You and know? Then, they had, then it was a game in Brooklyn. Sheesh, they lost. After, yeah. after this, him and Because he got booed off. They got booed off, right? No, no, no. That game that they got booed off was the first game of the series, wasn't it? Wasn't yes. It? Yeah. Then he had a game in Brooklyn where he had to put back dunk before halftime. He was, yeah, all that shit. That's when he looked at that meme when he looked at Jared Dudley crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I think that attribute of finding that that balance when mm-hmm. you look at a guy like Dame Lillard, he he, yeah. he straddles that balance right. good. This is the thirty one nine right. and four game in the playoffs without Joel being there. See the thing with Ben Simmons is this, we talked about gave the thirty one with no jumpers. No jump. Like think about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That it it's hard to keep saying that he only just needs a jumper. But that's what makes a lot of these guards that that do have that balance so good, is especially late in that late in the game, they can you know get a shot up for themselves yeah. and make that big bucket. I, I think man, if that man get like consistent jump, or if he's shooting how he's shooting in these workout videos, yeah. and it's, stays, how, it's two people in the league. It's literally Giannis and Ben Simmons. If they have like a consistent jumper. You look at like damn, it's, that, it's that, over. That's what yeah. I'm saying. About it's, Simmons, it's over because like Joe. I mean, uh, Giannis doesn't have a Joel Embiid. Joel. Mm-hmm. So he's an MVP level player because he doesn't have that. So if you put Ben Simmons in a situation night in night out where he has the the he has to it's, it's mandatory he go gets those rebounds those assists have, he has to put he points on the board yeah. Giannis the problem is we may never yeah. ever yeah, see that exactly. Like if Ben Simmons had like a Brook Lopez on his team, I don't or think just not have a Joel Embiid, just not have a Joel Embiid. Because right. if you put Joel Embiid on the Bucks, the Greek freak, especially early in his career, Ben Simmons, ever since Ben Simmons got to fit, he's had a guy over him. Yeah. Every 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 since How old has Ben Simmons now? He is 22. 23. Like 23. Yeah. 23. He's older than Devin Booker, so our shit is the same. I think Derek had Ben Simmons pretty low. I did. What do you have? 32. Oh, 32. Sheesh. He almost had a walk. 32? Who's uh, who's at 31 for you? 31 for me? Yeah. <laughs> Nikola Vucevic. 30. Tobias. Oh, Tobias is better than him on his own team? <laughs> that's that's insane. My bad, y'all. I had to go get the remote. It's a TV back here. I'm going to type in Ben Simmons. So for the rest of this episode, he can watch. Because he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't watching enough. Yeah. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. It's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. That's go talk. Go talk, go talk, go talk, my nigga is go talk. Go talk, go talk, go talk, my nigga is go talk.